What about for anyone who is running for school captain? Any, any advice for them? Because you, know, you actually have an incredible energy and presence and I can see it. You know, we're, we're doing this on Zoom, but you seem like a school captain to me. Now, what do you, it might be a weird question, but what do you think are the, like the traits, you know, if you have thought about this, um, and I, you know, I, I don't want to put you on, on the spot to make, make it sound like you're bragging or anything. I'm asking this, but what do you think it is that makes a good leader and you know what are some things if it's within anyone's control that you know they should be thinking about if they want to go for a position such as school captain or maybe you're at university and you want to you know be the head of a particular club and society maybe want to rise up and be a leader at a company what advice do you have there if any um probably my biggest advice is just to be authentic don't try and be the school captain so try and be involved in everything kind of trying to be on the good side of teachers or trying to get everyone to like you obviously those things help but um if it's not who you are if it's not who you truly are it's not going to come out to other people as well mm. um and even if you do get elected in the role that's great amazing um but it'll show throughout the year that it's not really who you are mm. so i think just try to be yourself trying to be as confident as you can step out of your comfort zone um and yeah, get involved in, in, in as much as you can, because I think that helped me as well. Um, you know, people from younger years, you can be confident, be funny, be approachable, be welcoming, um, instead of kind of just this boss or this lead and everyone's mm. like, oh, I'm really scared to talk to them. Yeah, yeah, no, that, that's, that's great advice, really wise, because I find that, you know, the best leaders are the ones who don't try to be a leader, right? It's like, yeah. it's more that they're just being themselves, as you say, which is hard, which is, you know, easier said than done, I should say. Yeah. <laughs> especially when you're a teenager that's why it's very admirable like i feel like you know when i was at high school you know i was a prefect i wasn't a school captain or anything and i can like kind of look back and appreciate why i wasn't ready for that kind of role anyway not to, you know i just wasn't voted in as that but i can i can see looking back that i might not have actually been ready there's a certain like self esteem that i've i've seen across the board if i look at all the school captains i know there's like a self esteem and they're like comfortable with themselves because I find that if you're not comfortable with yourself, how are you gonna be yourself? Like to your point, just going into the nuance there. So that's a really hard thing to get. And like when we talk about self-esteem and um, kind of just backing who you are, which then allows you to be authentic and people, as you said, people can sense it and they can sense when someone's putting on a persona, maybe because that is a reflection of them being insecure with their natural self. Right, but most people at high school have those insecurities, and it's really hard to work through them. But I, I would add, you know, since leaving school, that in order to be your authentic self, you know, if you can learn to become more and more comfortable with who you are, and this could be like a physical thing, intellectual thing, whatever, just really be comfortable with who you are, and try and take steps to expose yourselves to uncomfortable situations, you know, especially pertaining to any insecurities you may have, the faster you can chip away at those things and really own them, the more authentic you'll be. And therefore, uh, the more you'll be able to be a leader because people naturally are drawn to people who have that kind of self-esteem and that, that assurance in themselves because that gives people more faith that they'll be able to carry out the job because they're not busy putting on personas. Ooh.